you open your eyes, uh, you get sprayed with lemon, and that's a stealth sign. Hmm. And maybe that's how the stealth logo was created. Actually, I just made that up. Welcome to How to Deal with Stealth Guy with Stan. Hmm. Actually, let's just make that 100 times better with Kitty. Kitty's guides are so hot. Okay, so angry chihuahua um, running at you, chasing you down. We've all been. And that's why I'm here today. Um, let's talk about how to deal with stealth robots. But before we get into it, let's uh, look at some of the robots that actually have stealth. So with the stealth bot, you really have to know when they're strongest and when they're weakest. Stealth bots are strongest uh, during their stealth time, obviously. Um, here are the list of their stealth period, and then here are the cooldown time. Um, this is when they're weakest, and stealth bots tend to have a long period of cooldown. I included the data for those who don't have the stealth bot because I understand that those who do have the stealth bots would uh, already know this fact. All right, uh, the first one, um, using the cover to evade. Sometimes when they're the strongest, you just have to evade. And using this uh, building barrier to jump over um, is a good move. Manual aim is something that you really have to do during their stealth period. Um, usually it uh, works best with the shotgun or splash build. Uh, in this clip, I'm trying to uh, stay in the same playing field as uh, Pursuer so that I can uh, spray some particles, uh, shotgun particles on him and I was able to take him down. The next is running counter builds. In various battlefield situations you have to go face to face and the first robot, uh, counter robot I like is the invader. Uh, with the invader skill I'm able to suppress the enemy. Um, having this shotgun uh, weapon build um, I'm able to shoot this inquisitor down even in stealth here's another clip of me starting off with the invader I have the same shotgun setup and I'm actually trying to wait for the other um, robot to jump either jump or use their skill in order to uh, suppress them within the radius so I as, as, I, as soon as I saw the specter I jumped and suppressed all of uh, his uh, Orkins, um, so that those are baby rockets now. And after that, I was able to take up, take down this uh, pursuer. So here's another clip against the Inquisitor, and it just proves that um, shotgun setup on an Invader with a suppressed skill just really works very well against these stealth bots. And another clip against a pursuer and I, I jumped down uh, suppressed his weapons and obviously you can see that with uh, the red uh, webs and then here we go next counter build I like is the mender uh, with mender skill actually allows uh, you to heal yourself and um, you get damage resistance for 3 seconds and you get that speed buff so that just makes it really hard to kill, um, especially for the stealth bots. And uh, against these two stealth bots, I was able to take both of them down. So healing yourself and addition to that, damage resistance, uh, allows you to uh, withstand a lot of stealth bots high burst weapons. So the next build is the Hellburner. Uh, you run the Ember and Lockdown to give that extra boost of damage. This is actually a bad run with the Hellburner. Um, the Pursuer just has so much power, uh, firepower through having 3 gusts. I'm actually able to still take him down though because with the overload. And this is actually a good run. I was able to take down that Bulwark with the Ember. Um, and I was actually locking this Inquisitor down. I uh, took out most of his health. I uh, used the overload, um, got stuck there, but I uh, tried to go and hug him for that last explosion. 
I was able to take him down. Boom. Next point is be creative. Uh, this is something that all players, I think, should think about, especially countering the stealth bots. Um, with this build, uh, Chimera with Glory, I'm actually trying to um, use the Chimera to uh, hit stealth bots when they're in cooldown and when it's necessary with the Falcon's damage resistance and close up weapon with Glory, um, I was able to take some stealth bots down. And here is Aphid and Thermite Leo um, trying to hit stealth bots while they're um, in their cooldown. Next up, uh, chase them when they're in cooldown. Here's a player that just used the stealth and I just look around just to see if anyone is not going to ambush me and I jump in there um, knowing my Inquisitor's health and this is a Pursuer and I drop down to take him down but I probably would have take, uh, took him down but some of the guys stole my kill. There was a thief in town. Here's a successful clip of the chase down and without their skill Stalker would be Desrier, Pursuer, Gepard, uh, Mercury would be Vityaz, uh, Inquisitor would be Lance without the shield and Spectre would be Doc with 4 weapons. Rocket type weapons have splash damage so use that splash damage. Here's a clip of Pursuer in stealth but with Orkins uh, using that splash damage I was hitting the wall and the splash damage was applied onto the Pursuer even when it was in stealth. So in uh, this view you're able to see the Pursuer's health just drain fast even, um, even when that Pursuer was in stealth. So thank you guys for watching this video on how to deal with stealth robots. Um, if you have your own tips and tricks, uh, leave it down in the comments below. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys like these kind of formatted videos, um, I have my own channel. So subscribe to my channel as well.